Hello guys, Brickley here, and today we have more leaks, so stay tuned to find out more. If you do enjoy the video, why not like the video as well as subscribe and turn on notifications, but let's get into it. So to kick things off, we have a look at a brand new LEGO Disney 18 Plus set. This one being the best of the Little Mermaid and should be Ariel's Palace. It's going to be set number 43225 and should contain 1,808 pieces. Should be retailing for $160 and will be launching on May 1st, 2023. So only a couple of weeks away. And you can see this one, good, it isn't mini dolls. It is going to be minifigures. You can see in total, we are going to be getting five minifigures, including Ariel, Ursula, and then three other characters. Then also we get some animals being submitted. Bastion and also Flounder. This one you can see there is a lot of details packed into the build which is really unique. You can see Ursula inside there and then also a little shipwreck. In terms of dimensions the photo is a little bit blurry but it roughly is around about 30 centimeters long and about a similar height in kind of dimensions really. And this one is going to be based off the brand new Disney Little Mermaid readaption rather than the original Little Mermaid. I think a lot of people would prefer this one to be on. I think in terms of value actually really good. I was expecting this one to be at least $200 if you're just looking at the picture it's not your typical palace it is built around this massive shell build in white then you can see all the details for the minifigures to fly around is in the middle so definitely a pretty solid set will i be picking this one up I don't really know yet. I do think it is a pretty strong set. Of course, there will be criticism that LEGO isn't doing it off traditional Little Mermaid, but they're trying something new. They are gambling at a high price point, so we'll see how this one does. And then thanks to Life Bricks, we got a look at the brand new LEGO May 4th promos. So first off, we have 40591, this one being a buildable Death Star. You can see it also includes that printed 40th anniversary tile. And it is mag scale. I think it is going to be a little bit bigger than the photo suggests, as it has over 200 pieces. So as the details, this one's going to be available with 150 $50 spends from May 1st to May 7th so you can be able to have a week uh, to basically pick this one up and not to have a high threshold. I definitely think a minifigure would have been good to get in this one though and then as a second promo we have the Return of the Jedi 40th collectible. This one being the Death Star coins and some Death Star plans. This one should be available from May 1st to May 7th with purchases over $85. This one it isn't the most amazing promo in the world. It is something a little bit different which is always nice to see and that threshold at $85 seems about right for something of that size then finally the go is going to be a third and final promo this one being the x-wing polybag should be available with spends of 45 dollars potentially in store only for this one but not about polybag to get at all but where things get interesting is lego is going to be offering five times vip points which is pretty much i think if my calculations are right is 25 percent back these are going to be on sets like the justifier all we want versus Darth Vader, based off the kenobi show also the m1 starfighter the big version that is then also interestingly the dark trooper helmet will all be receiving five times vip points from May 1st to May 7th. So I think if you want to really get a good value, you want to be getting some of those sets on 5 times VIP, spending $150 to get all free promos. So that'll be interesting. We'll also got some more information about the Advent Calendar with the minifigures included in that one. We're going to be seeing Amiga featuring the Advent Calendar, which is a really big one, given that minifigure is only in the Justifier, which clearly hasn't been selling too well. Also, the 212 Trooper is great to get in an Advent Calendar as well. Then also a Battle Droid. Then, of course, we know the Ewok in a sweater is also coming, which leaked a few months ago of course i'm presuming there'll be one or two other minifigures but definitely feels like a stronger advent card than what we've seen in years previous then today we got a look at the next lego idea set this one being set number 21 340 the tales of the space age this one has been rushed out really quick i've got to say but that isn't a bad thing as this one is going to contain 688 pieces i think it is in the original submission there was only the three stands that you can see on the left but they have added the brand new black hole one in on the right and i think i'm really impressed with this one definitely good value given it's 50 dollars or 45 pound given lego's prices these days and this one will be a really minimalistic display piece that you can have in your collection as it demonstrates in some of the lifestyle photos this one is going to be available from may 5th and i think definitely one i will actually find myself picking up as i do think it is a really cool model and it is just really simple and something a little bit different no minifigures included of course but definitely ideas continues to impress and innovate with sets like these and then in the next lego marvel magazine we are going to be getting the mighty four this one being the of course from the goat boat which is a really great minifigure to get in a lego magazine this one should be available within the next month or so a great just expensive minifigure making it accessible in magazines it's always 
really great within these Marvel sets. There will be some information on a few random sets which will be available at LEGO stores and also promos as we continue into 2023. First off, we have 40640, this one being the Nutcracker. It's a brand new Christmas set. Should contain 208 pieces, so quite a big set. It should be launching on September 1st, 2023. This one will be obviously Nutcracker. I presume one you can hang up or display, something like that. Then to go alongside that, another Christmas one. Be 40642, the Gingerbread Ornaments. This one should contain 160 pieces, so a little bit smaller. It should be available from September 1st, 2023. I presume this one will be one of those where you can hang them on your Christmas tree or display them in a few different ways. So two Christmas sets launching in September. No info on the Winter Village set just yet. And then we have 40600, this one being a Disney promo, which we don't get too often. This one should contain 2,226 pieces. Should be available in July, so that promo will run sometime in July. I've heard this one could potentially be a brick built version of the 100 Years logo. That is not confirmed, just things I've been hearing. Then we also have a regular Disney set on the way, being 40232, uh, sorry, that one being a Disney set. Should contain 466 pieces. Nothing is known yet on it other than it will launch on September 1st, 2023. We have a set number for the Harry Potter promo, being 40698, this one being the Gringotts Safe promo. This one, alone like last year, where you got it when all the sets are launched, this one will contain 212 pieces and will launch in September. So that's great news as it's not going to launch after all the sets have come out, but it's going to be launching with Gringotts. I presume if you buy Gringotts, you'll get this one for free. We have a brand new classic set on the way, being 11032, this one being the Creative Color Fun. Should contain 1,500 pieces. We don't have a price, but it should be launching on August 1st, 2023. And then you know me, I love Brickheads, and we have some tiny info on some brand new Brickheads I just had to talk about. So 40627 is going to be 139 pieces, and 40628 is going to be 131 pieces. Those will be two brand new single Brickheads packs, which will be launching on September 1st, 2023. We don't have a clue what they're going to be yet. We do know that Sonic Brickheads are on the way, so they potentially could be that. I love to see an Indiana Jones Brickhead. Just any new Brickheads are always welcome for me. So it'll be interesting to see what those are when they come out in September. And then LEGO is going full force marketing this year's LEGO Ninjago show as the kind of reboot where they featured some brand new minifigures and some posters. So you can see one of the villains, then also Lloyd and a brand new character called Sora, which has a really interesting headpiece. All of these minifigures look to have some great new minifigure pieces we've been seeing leaking over the past few weeks. That's looking really good. LEGO have definitely got a lot going for this brand new series. We also got a look at the brand new minifigure, which should be in Ninjago City Markets. This one is, you can see the brand new torso is also some new torso printing on the front and also the back. I presume it won't be long now till we finally see our eyes on Ninjago City Market. So this is kind of a teaser for that set coming in a few months. But yeah, Ninjago, the minifigures are looking really strong this year. For Harry Potter, we got a little better look at the Rita minifigure, which should be coming in the character encyclopedia. That one is launching in July, I believe. So you finally be able to get your hands on that brand new exclusive Harry Potter minifigure. And also, we got some more images of the Technic Peugeot Hypercar 9X8. This one, you can see it is actually a pretty big model once built up. There's loads of different functions in the gearbox. There is also suspension in the model then at the front there'll be some glow in the light rims which will be really cool the only downside for this set if you look at this there is absolutely tons of stickers in this set which of course you never want but it does usually happen with these massive lego tenic sets that one is launching on may 1st i'm surprised lego still haven't put out official images for this one but in these images you can see it's pretty detailed definitely a really good 18 plus set i'm hoping over the weekend i'll be able to give you some more information on the brand new lego back cave and also on the pac-man arcade machine so hopefully that'll be coming at the end of this week so something to look forward to. I definitely think the Little Mermaid set is something unique, not something you're going to see every day. The Death Star promo is cool. Definitely a minifigure would have been cooler though. And I think the Tales of the Space Age is a strong set. I'll probably be picking up on May 5th. I cannot lie. I wasn't too excited for that one. But after seeing official images, I definitely am. But that was some news new 2023 leaks and rumors. Comment down below what you're excited for, what you're not. Like video, subscribe, and turn notifications for more LEGO videos and like a news video. If you watch any of the videos on screen now, remember guys, keep clicking and bricking. I'll see you all there, guys. Bye bye.